Hey friends, welcome back to Friends Test Kitchen. Today we are making a vegan dish to commemorate the upcoming Meat Out Day on March 20th. Actually, it's only in New York City as of now. So we are making a special dish by Natalie Portman called the Chickpea and Zucchini Summer Stew. This is gonna be a one dish meal, my favorite. We need olive oil. One, two. Check. And Gina's favorite, a lot of garlic. Did you put extra this time? Woo! Heck yeah! <laughs> Do I like flavor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to that, we're going to add in a whole large zucchini. This is one of the main stars of the dish, so I wouldn't cut them up too small or else they'll get too mushy quickly. I was excited for this dish because it was one, di one pot and it was so simple. But then now I'm wondering, I'm questioning if it's going to be good because it's so simple. There isn't a lot to it. I read that it was uh, one of Natalie Portman's like go-to. We make a lot of celebrity recipes. They have access to so much yummy food, you know, to the fanciest restaurant. So if this is their go-to, it's got to be good, right? They choose to eat this, not because they can't <laughs> afford anything else. <laughs> So we're gonna do a whole can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Make sure you rinse it. We're gonna follow up with a whole can of peeled tomatoes. Um, I went ahead and got the San Marzano style. I feel like that's what Giada uses, so that's what I'm using. So you're supposed to just be able to squish it, right, with the back of your spoon? Wait, Gina. We were yeah. supposed to put the chickpeas after the tomato, not with or before the tomatoes because as we smush our tomatoes, we're going to squish our perfect chickpeas. But that is fine. I knew not to listen to you. That's why there's a lot of chickpeas because some of them will get destroyed in the process. We need two teaspoons of salt, which sounds like a lot. Are right. you putting extra in because you love salt? I'm gonna do the two teaspoons just because I feel like this lacks flavor. <laughs> this is actually called her spicy chickpea stew. So um, in it, she has us put in a whole tablespoon of red pepper flakes. No, which one sounds teaspoon. So yum. Oh, one teaspoon. Don't yeah. listen to Kat either. Man, you can't listen to me <laughs> or Kat. I don't know why you're even watching us right now. <laughs> We're not vegans, as you can tell, but Gina and I are always looking forward to ways where we can just eat less meat, and we love veggies, so let's try this out. Sometimes vegan dishes really do surprise us, right? All we need to do is just put the top on this, and we're gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna be ready to eat. So this would be a good time to cook some rice, or a side of, what, fish? No, this is vegan. No, no fish. <laughs> This is a meat out meal, Gina. No, I, I meant fish, like <laughs> that um, Caribbean vegetable. <laughs> you ready to plate up this vegan meal? Yes. Are you as excited I've got as my me? More. <laughs> All right, let's plate this up. We're gonna put it on some nice, fluffy white rice. It's a little salty. I used the full two teaspoons of salt. It's a little salty. I like it a lot. It's stewy, it's tomatoey, but it's good. I, I like it. Same. I hate to say it, it's good! <laughs> you do? I think what's really makes it better is that it has that, the, all the hot pepper flakes, a whole teaspoon, which is actually a lot. I was a little worried that the chickpeas might be dry because I'm not a big fan of chickpea texture, but it's soft. This really works. So good. Thank you for joining and what a wonderful surprise this recipe was. If you were curious about trying vegan dishes or you want to go meatless for a day, this is a dish to start with. So thanks for joining. Make sure you subscribe because we love subscribers and hit the bell so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for joining, bye. I got ground chuck and chuck is a little... Chuck's a little fatty.